Hey guys, it's Michael, and I'm back with another Let's Build video. Today, I'm gonna build a seaside hotel. If you remember, not too long ago, we held a vote to see what the next room theme would be that would be added to the W Shop. And this Webkin Suite 16 theme actually won, and we've been showing off those concept drawings. They're looking really cool, but the hotel theme came in a close second. So the hotel theme will not be coming out in the W Shop this time around. So I thought I'd build a hotel for you just with existing items from the W Shop to show you how you could build your own hotel. Now I said that this was a seaside hotel, so it's gonna be themed like the beach and, and there might be some pirate stuff thrown in there. I'm actually gonna be using some of the prizes or the souvenirs that you can win when you uh, visit Sheldon and his souvenir shack at Vacation Island. Now the wallpaper I've actually added to the room is called the green leaf wallpaper. There's a green leaf theme in the W shop and you can find it there. Now I've also added the beach house flooring to this room and in these two corners here I've added the beach house window here. It's a really nice big window and you can see the ocean and the waves crashing outside. Now these items are actually from the beach house theme which is temporarily retired from the W shop but it is coming back on July 8th. So you'll have to wait till July 8th to get those items. Now, along the back left wall there, I'm gonna start putting together a seating area that you would see at every single hotel lobby. This large room is gonna be my hotel lobby. I'm gonna build that first. Now, uh, there are these beach chairs that are available from the beach theme in the W Shop, and that theme is actually currently available. It's in there right now. You can pick those up and add them to your hotel. Now next to those chairs, I'm going to add a ponytail palm tree. Now I thought that that kind of fit in with a beach resort uh, theme and that is available in the W shop as well under decorations and plants. I'm going to take a beach side table and add it next to there. And right now I'm going to add one of these couches next to the side table. This is the beach house striped couch. And again, it's part of that beach theme that's returning to the W shop on July 8th. And this coffee table matches that little side table. I'm just gonna rotate it so it's facing the same direction as those chairs there. And that's a nice little square seating area that you would definitely find in a hotel lobby. Now I'm gonna continue on and build another seating area directly right next to it, um, like you would see in lots of hotels. Now this couch is from the W Shop. It's a white couch. And I'm gonna put it behind that stripe one because I don't want these stripes to be too overbearing in this room. I think I liked those ponytail palm trees, so I'm gonna add another one here. Now that's gonna go right uh, next to that couch. And uh, that beach house couch with those nice blue stripes. I'm gonna add another one of those as well, but this time this one's gonna go right along the side of the wall. So these stripe patterns are, are being repeated throughout the room, which ties everything together really nicely. You know, in some of these seaside resort or hotels, you would see these little kitschy kind of decorations that they that they display all over their hotel. So I'm going to do the same thing here. This one's a pirate ship's wheel, and it's from the pirate theme in the W Shop. If you saw that, actually, it spins around every single time you click it in play mode. But I'm just going to rotate it there so it's nice and flat against the wall and it fits in with my overall theme. In that north corner there, I'm gonna add another one of those little side tables. And on that side table, there's actually these really cute, wacky carved coconuts that you can get from Sheldon's Souvenir Shack on Vacation Island. And I'm gonna add that onto the table there as a nice little decoration for the hotel lobby. So I'm going to add two more of these beach chairs that I first added to the room in the left corner, but now those are going to really tie in uh, the colors nicely and bring it all together. I'm also going to need a coffee table. I'll rotate it so it's in the same direction as the other one. I think we need a Campkin's lantern because it's kind of, you know, lanterns in the ocean, kind of like a lighthouse. I think it all sort of works for the, this theme. So I'm going to add the Campkin's lantern to that first side table. So above these beach chairs, the be I'm gonna add a beach house boy mirror. And this one again is part of that beach theme coming back July 8th. And that one looks perfect. It's the same blue as the couch. We had something that reminded me of a light that you would see in the hotel room as part of the movie magic theme in the W shop. They're the movie theater lamps. So I'm gonna add one of those right next to the boy. And let's just to frame that one nicely, I'm gonna add one to the other side of the room. Now, of course, we need a few more decorations to fill in the gap here. 
So again, with the, the pirate theme, I found Dogbeard's portrait. So definitely a, a seaside resort would need a portrait of a pirate up on the wall. And there it goes. I'm adding it right above that couch. It's nice and, and sits high on the wall. So it's a perfect little uh, focal piece to my hotel lobby. The next two items I'm going to add are, again, from Sheldon's Souvenir Shack from Vacation Island. Of course, you need to be a deluxe member to visit Vacation Island. But hey, you know what? If you have some deluxe friends, you can trade some items with them for the souvenir items because, of course, they're all tradable, sendable, sellable. So you can send them through Kin's Post and, and try and find them in the trading rooms. The first one is a compass clock. Now, this one, again, is very nautical as well fits really nicely in this little spot between these two trees which are really nice and the weathered wall anchor is also from Sheldon's souvenir shack and I'm gonna add that right next to the compass and I think that finishes off that wall really nice now I really like the beach surfboard rack this is from the beach theme and it's really colorful I'm gonna add it to the room and because you know there is sand at the bottom of this rack but because this flooring is really close to that color it, you don't really notice the sand that much so this could be a really cute little display maybe it's an area where the hotel guests can come pick up a surfboard before they go outside so anyway I wanted to add that there because I really like those surfboards of course, behind those surfboards, I'm going to add a hippo on a half shell painting. This you can find in the wall decoration section of the W shop under decorations. And look at that. It's perfect. I think this hotel lobby needs a little bit of green. So I found these bamboo trees in the W shop and I'm going to frame this doorway here with one of those plants. I pictured that this is the main entrance uh, into my hotel and maybe this room here, this door here leads into the rest of the hotel. So I'm gonna frame that door to make a nice, big, warm, welcoming entranceway. And next to the this bamboo here, I'm gonna add a sailor's shipping crate. Now this is from Sheldon Souvenir Shack as well. Now um, I'm gonna add a little side table to the, uh, the south corner um, of the room. And to tie in this green and to, to frame this together, I'm gonna to add a little plant on top of that side table and it's a spider plant. So now next to that side table here, I'm gonna put a couple of chairs and a table because a hotel lobby, you definitely see lots of chairs in the hotel lobby. So this chair here is a beach house striped sofa chair. I'm gonna rotate that so it's, it's facing the center of the room. And of course these chairs uh, match that couch perfectly. And they're also part of that uh, beach house theme coming out July 8th. Now in between those chairs, I'm going to put Dogbeard's dining table. This one table is really fancy and it's got that nice pattern uh, on the front. It's also from the pirate theme from the W shop. Now I just wanted to add a little subtle touch to the top of the table. There's the Zums field guide, which you can pick up in the book section in the W shop under fun stuff. And I'm just going to set one on the table because this looks almost like a guest book or something that, uh, or an information uh, leaflet that the hotel guests can take a look at in the lobby while they're waiting. Over here on the right corner, I'm going to build my main desk or the desk that you would see in the lobby where you can check into your hotel rooms. And you know what? I, I tried a few different things for this. I wanted something that was definitely tall and fancy looking and worked with the theme. So actually, Captain's Doubloon Dresser, I found, worked pretty well. Now, of course, it's a dresser. It's not a table. But watch. If I put it in the room here, I'm leaving a little space there so I can uh, put my hotel workers behind there so my pets can fit behind there. But I'm going to actually take this dresser and rotate it. So it's actually backwards. Now, if you put it backwards, look at this. It looks like a nice front desk. But now I needed to bring a little bit more attention to it as well. And I didn't really know how to do that. I often saw in, in images of hotels that I was looking at when I was trying to figure out how to build this room, I saw that there was they often had pillars or um, something along either side of the desk. So first I tried uh, miniature orange trees and I Put one on the either side of the desk here. And I think that kind of worked. Those are just available for Kins Cash from the W Shop. So if you are looking for an option like that, those work very well. But I'm going to remove those because I found something a little better. It's actually, these are available in the W Shop for e-store points. And you can also get them at the Gans 
eStore. It's part of the Ocean Liner theme. So now I'm going to add two to the room, one on either side of the desk. And look at that. I love that. There's little barnacles and things growing on these pillars. So definitely fits in with the theme of my hotel. And look at that. Such a focal point now, that front desk to this room, um, that I think it works really well. Now I'm going to take a white wood stool, also from the W Shop, and just tuck it uh, behind there. So now you can see... Uh, you know, when there's somebody on duty at this hotel, they could be sitting at that desk. And, and there they are, perfect, um, sitting, waiting for the guests to arrive. In the movie magic theme, out of all places, cinema ribbon dividers. Now, I just wanted to add these to the room to, to make it feel a little bit more official, like it's a hotel and like it's the front desk. And there you go. It's, it's cornering off this area and it actually acts as a little uh, walkway into the rest of the hotel. Now, the train station luggage trolley, I wanted to add one to the room because uh, this is from the Enchanted Train Station theme from the W Shop, and it's really cute because it has some luggage on there, so it definitely looks like there are guests who are about to check in um, to this lobby. And uh, I'm gonna add two more suitcases. They're Webkin's Worldly Luggage. And these are also found on Vacation Island at Sheldon Souvenir Shack. So I'm gonna add one next to that trolley there. I'm gonna add another one to the room. I'm gonna rotate it and uh, put it right in next to that trolley so there you go looks like there are guests waiting to be checked in luggage in in the front lobby and of course there is uh, that front desk so there you go there's a lobby at a beachside hotel i think it looks like a lot of fun um, and of course filled with different decorations that would suggest that it's a seaside resort now let's move on i'm going to go into this room here uh, and go to the remaining area of my hotel now what I'm gonna do is go into the hallway of my hotel and show you how I set that up. So here we go, here is my hotel hallway. I haven't added any decorations yet, but again, there's that green leaf wallpaper and the beach house flooring. Now I've chosen a small room for my hallway and I've added a medium room on either corner here. So these are doorways to uh, the hotel rooms in the actual seaside hotel. So now we hardly need anything in the hallway here. Just a few uh, little subtle decorations to imply that it is still seaside hotel. So there's one of those uh, beach house boy mirrors and I added one to the wall there. And uh, right in this north corner, I'm just gonna add one of those pony palm trees one of those sofa chairs from that beach house theme. I'm gonna add those lighting fixtures from the movie magic theme, and there you go. I think that's all it needs to make it look like a lobby. And of course, there are the three doors um, that lead into the three hotel rooms I have at my hotel. Now, I just wanted to show you something pretty cool. We have a rainbow root beer machine that's available in the W Shop for eStore points. And, you know, you usually find these little pop or soda machines in the hallways. I'm just going to move this chair down and tuck the plant right next to it in the right corner. And in that north corner, all I'm going to do is take that root beer machine and add it right in. So there you go. If you're the hotel guests maybe just came in from a hot day, they can grab a uh, a glass or a can of rainbow root beer and actually this is a dispenser item so we have a bunch of different dispensers available uh, in the W shop and in the, the e-store and what how they work is when you're in play mode if you click on it you're actually awarded an item from the dispenser so here I'm awarded a can of rainbow root beer which is pretty cool once I have that it's in my dock and look at that I can take it now and uh, feed my pet so there you go that is my seaside hotel hallway. Now let's go inside one of the rooms and see how I've set that up. So here you go. Here is one of the rooms in my seaside hotel. And there's that beach house window um, that I've added to the room there. I've got the beach house wallpaper that I've added to the room. Now all the furniture here, I found it in the W shop. So you can look for it there. Of course, the two side tables and the coffee table are also from that beach house room theme that's returning on July 8th. So you won't find that one there now, but everything else you can. I really like the bed and these sofas because look at that. There's that blue and white pattern again that we saw on that beach house sofa and chairs. But it's a lot. It's a little lighter, so it's a little subtler, and it doesn't uh, jump out so much. And of course, there's a wacky carved coconut um, from the souvenir shack sitting 
on that side table. So pretty cool. And I'm going to show you just two different variations quickly using some items from that uh, beach house theme. Um, coming back, of course, I've said this a lot of times just so you won't forget, but it's coming back on July 8th. Now, so this would be a really basic room here. Now to get make this room a little more fancy, I'm going to add a porthole barrel hot tub to the room. And what I need to do is just uh, tweak the where these items are. So in edit mode, I'm going to pick up this little drink bar. I'm going to move it to the left corner and I'm going to take this set of drawers and put it on the wall right there. Now I'm going to tuck that right in and I have that porthole barrel hot tub. I'm going to put it right in the back of the room. And there you go. So now this room is getting a little fancier. Uh, maybe this is one of the more expensive hotel rooms. Now I know that a lot of hotels have TVs. So um, I'm going to do one more setup of this room with a television so you can see how that looks like. So first of all, I'm going to move this, uh, remove it actually completely from the room. And I'm going to add the beach house TV to the left corner here. I really like this TV. It's built on a lobster trap. So really fits in with my uh, seaside beach side theme of my hotel. But now I'm going to have to tweak these chairs a little bit so they're facing the TV. So I'm actually going to almost switch these around. I'm going to turn this couch into the opposite direction, lay it against the right wall. To compensate here, I am actually going to move this couch away from the wall and add that side table. Um, back in with, there it is, the wacky carved coconut. So there you go. This is the fanciest layout of the Seaside Hotel room. It's a medium room. Um, you can, there's lots of ways to build this. There's not a wrong way to build a hotel room, but um, I hope you're inspired by this. Now, you know what? There's so many other things I could build at this beach hotel, you know? I mean, we could have done an outdoor area or a games room. There's different things, but you know, I was I just had to do it. I had to build a restaurant that I would uh, you would find in this hotel. Um, I built it already, so I'm just going to go there right now and show you how that looks like. Here is my pirate family restaurant at the Seaside Hotel. Now, I thought this was really cute because it's it's really themed for the beach and it I tried to make it look like the inside of a pirate ship with uh, over the top decorations and you know I would picture all the waiters here dressed up as pirates as they serve their tables. But I'll just go show you quickly how I built this. I made a little booth area in my restaurant in the left corner here. These are actually from the medieval theme, um, but I really like them because they look like fancy booth chairs. These chairs were made out of wood, so I thought it matched the theme overall. There's those uh, tables from the pirate theme that I used um, as the booth tables. I've also uh, set up a big table um, in the right corner of the room in my restaurant here and uh, used seating from the pirate theme as well because I found that it tied that nice red color together. On the walls here, here's that uh, Captain Dogbeer poster from the pirate theme. This map is from the pirate theme as well. And there is that anchor that's from uh, the souvenir shack. Now these palm trees, they're inflatable palm trees. I really like these. And uh, you know, something that you would see at a restaurant like this, those are also from Sheldon Souvenir Shack. Now these portholes, they used to be exclusive items. They're not available anymore. They're retired and they were retired quite uh, long ago, but I love them. And I'm sure that you'd still be able to find them somewhere, maybe in the trading room, maybe have some that are stored on your account if you've been playing for a long time. But look at that. I love it. You can see the fish going by um, through the porthole and they just look like little windows there. In the back right corner here there's that that steering wheel and this uh, trunk that you can get from vacation island and this mast here is actually from the pirate theme as well um, this i thought was really cute um, it's a little stand where where the host of the restaurant um, would wait for guests to arrive and actually it's it's available in the east store and uh in the w shop for east store points it's actually a mayor podium if you turn it around there's microphones on it and there's like a little mayor banner there but i found that if you turn it this way it just looked like um a place where the host of the restaurant or the hostess of the restaurant um would wait for the guests to be seated now finally we've got these pillars in the middle of the room these pillars are weathered barn pillars and they're actually one of the new prizes that you can get when you fill up a jar of sugar berries in Jumbleberry Fields. So I love them. Uh, they they look perfect in the Jumbleberry Fields weathered barn uh, room theme that you can pick up by playing the game. 
but um, I also found that they almost looked like ship masts and worked perfectly in my pirate family restaurant. Anyway, there you go. There's my seaside hotel. I, I showed you the lobby, the hallway, um, a room, and of course, uh, the restaurant that's part of the hotel. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are inspired to make your own rooms. And when you do, feel free to make a Let's Build video yourself and upload it to you YouTube. Just use Webkin's room designs in the title so we can find them. And who knows, we might post them right here on Webkin's News. Also, guys, I've been loving all the screenshots that you've been sending me. Keep them coming. You can email me your screenshots at letsbuildatgans.com. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you next time. Did you like this video and want to see more? Click the subscribe button below to see what else is happening in Webkin's world.